Uh, hello. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make a maze game in Scratch. Alright, so first what you want to do is open up Scratch, which I have right here. And, uh, you can delete the cat if you have the cat by right clicking and hit delete. Alright, so next, what we want to do is go over here to New Sprite. Make a new Sprite. Now let's start with a, um, player. So let's make player. Okay. Player. And that goes okay. And then we have our, um, player. Put whatever you want. I'm gonna make it start right here. So, before, now, we're just gonna put in some little script right here. Uh, when this is click motion, go to this. So, so every time you start the game, it will start right there, or wherever you put. It. All right. Now we can't do uh, maze without the movement and the goal and the path maze. So first, let's start with the movement. So to start with the movement, we are going to go to control when this is clicked forever. Uh, I'm gonna make four ifs. If. 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 if for this if. So we have four ifs right here, and I'm gonna put it inside forever. I'm gonna go to sensing. Right, when this is pressed. When this is press, when this is press, and when this is press, you should find the sensing. Alright. Now I'm gonna change this to up. I'm gonna change this to down. I'm gonna change this to right. I'm gonna change this to left. So we have up, down, right, and left. But it's not gonna work yet until we put in something inside of it to make it move. So I'm gonna go to motion. I'm gonna put in. Uh, this x dot uh, negative 5 for left arrow and I'm going to make change x to right arrow is 5 I'm going to uh, make down um, a negative 5 uh, I'm going to make uh, this for up 5 now just so you know that um uh, up arrow is Y, down is Y, uh, X is right, and left is, um, X. Alright, so when we play, as you can see, we have our movement. Right? But there's not gonna be much fun, because we don't have a entire, um, thing. You know, like the path and the goal. So... Oh yeah, and by the way, this code right here, when this is clicked, it will go to back there. It will start back there, too. Alright. But now, we're gonna get on to the good part. Create a new sprite. And make the game. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna make our, my path right here, like this. Right, this is just a simple one, so it's not really going to be that um, complicated. Right, you can make it however you want. I don't really care how how you make it. I'm just going to show you what I can do. Right, okay, that's where I'm going to make it, and then you hit, and then you can click OK, and you'll have a uh, it right here and just track it because it's not going to be exactly where you want it to be so um fix it to the place you want it to be right so now we have the movement and we have the path but what is missing is is that every time we hit the black it's actually not um restarting Back to the starting point. So to fix that, we're gonna go back to player, and we are going to go to control. If drag it into here, shoot into here. And now we're gonna go to sensing and touching 
color. And then click this, um, whatever color that is, and click on the black. So if it's touching this, it, and then we're gonna go out to motion, and then we're gonna go to, uh, go to X, uh, place Y in this. So, every time we hit the black, it, well, whoop, hold on. Not right. One second. Now, now let's try it again. Okay, there we go. So now it's going to start back there every time. But what we're missing is a goal. Now, um... Technically, I'm going to teach you how to make a new level, too. So let's start that. So go to Sprite and make how you want the goal to be. I'm just going to make it a... Blue, 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 G, enter. I'm gonna place it wherever I want. I'm gonna place it right here. Maybe like right here. Uh, just an example. The ending. So then go to control and put one. This is clicked. Uh, this shows. And then go to show, which you can find looks. And then drag it into the end and drag it into the player. So you have um, all of this, all of this, and all of this in each of the scripts. Alright, but we wanted to go to the next level, which I'm going to teach you again, which I probably just said before. And to do that, we're going to go to control and go to player and go to F. Go to sensing, touching, bring it to here, touching, sprite one, then go to control, and then we're going to go to broadcast and bring it into here, and then go to new, and call it to win, or whatever you want to call it, uh, right here, and then we're going to drag and when I receive this win, then we're going to put it into and just drag that into the end and do through uh, the goal. So, I'll play it as you can see right here. It would work, and, and um, every time you hit the black, it would um, restart. But uh, as you can see, I'm going to go to the goal. So it's as it, now, um, as you can see that it hit the um goal, uh, you can see this white screen. The reason for that is because it's gonna actually direct you to the next sprite that you're gonna make. So let's make another sprite. I'm just gonna add that in some text and type in win. Right. Now we can't just keep it win winner because when we play it, you can see um we are having this technical glitch where it's um, saying winner um, into the level. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Sprite 2, which is winner, and go to control. When this is clicked, um, uh, hide. Then I'm going to go back to control and go when I see win, looks, and then we're going to put it into show. So when we play it, it will be gone. I'm just going to drag it through the goal. And once it hits the goal, boom, win. And this is technically how you uh, make a maze. And if you have any, any like comments or whatever, just comment. I, and I'll try to help. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.